Midwest Gary Fox here and uh, I want to uh, talk about a little bit of difficulty I ran into today but it turned out to not be very serious and there's a workaround and that is one of the reasons why I like open source software because there is almost always a workaround and it's not a lot of effort to, uh, to find that workaround. No endless phone calls of listening to the music and waiting for somebody to get back to you and then usually getting an answer that really doesn't help you. At least that's the story I found with working with most commercial software. So uh, I'm going to describe what happened. Because I wanted to install the uh, latest and greatest LibreCAD, which is version 2 point something, I found out that if I upgrade my Ubuntu version of Linux from 12.0 something to 14.04 that uh, it would come with the new LibreCAD. So I've done that and there will be some forthcoming videos about what the version 2.2 LibreCAD is. At least some about the differences between it and LibreCAD one, which is what all my uh, videos were about. But, in the process of upgrading, it turns out that what happens when you upgrade a uh, piece of software, the operating system, it's almost like you're jacking up the house, knocking out the foundation, and putting a completely new foundation right underneath it, and then hopefully letting the house back down and everything fits. Uh, it doesn't always work that way, even in open source. Because when they upgraded, they upgraded what they call libraries and, and uh, other routines that software depends on. If that software has not been uh, upgraded to, to do that, to work with those routines and libraries, uh, all of a sudden you got problems, you got conflicts. And so what Ubuntu decided to do was to eliminate that software. One of those pieces of software, okay, and I graded, uh, as I said, I upgraded from 12 point something to 14.4, uh, and I choose this LTS version. LTS means long-term support. That means that it'll be good for a couple of years. Even a 12.0 something was good for a couple of years. But I decided to, great, to upgrade to the uh, latest and greatest one to, to uh, upgrade all my software. Okay, is it upgraded? One of the problems was that QUCS was not upgraded with it. It actually deleted it. And when I went into this thing that uh, where you pull up software and I typed QUCS, it would not come up. It does now. And I'm like, where the heck is it? I went to the Software Upgrade Center. Whoa. Went to the uh, Software Upgrade Center. And it didn't appear there. So then I decided to type in QUCS itself uh, using a search engine and came up with their web page, which is what you see right now. When I came up to their web page, it said that it upgraded the package for 14.01 Trusty. And it said to look at this next link here, which we'll pull up right now. And it says that they have a stable personal package archive for Ubuntu's located. And it gives the address there. And it says to add the package repository, install this certain set of commands here. So I followed those instructions, and when I did, it came up with a message saying that you might ought to look at another website. And I did, and when I went to this website, it also says uh, that basically they had a conflict with some other, other uh, software, but they now have fixed that. But they haven't included it into the uh, main loading software. They give a set of instructions on how to... Uh, to upgrade. I'd already kind of started the other one, so I decided to go back to this. When you do, you have to use a sudo command, which means that you're acting as if you are the uh, 
the root administrator of the uh, software, and that's just the way Ubuntu does it. Basically, all I had to do was just type in what those commands were. I typed them into a terminal window, and as you can see, as I scroll through what all this terminal window did, it looks like a real computer there, like we used to picture software, <coughs> where it just runs a uh, set of commands, and it types those commands while it, while it does it. And so uh, this looks like looks like something that you uh, picture in the old computer movies. And uh, it's easy to do. All of the instructions were found right here on the uh, on the software. And uh, I didn't have a bit of problem installing this. Once I did, and we'll run it right now. Once I did, you see I've even got my old uh, files back. Uh, we can look at, this is one I ran for Fousey, and uh, let's just look at the schematic, and you see that uh, the whole file is there, and uh, so everything's hunky-dory, and that was really important to me to be able to get this back because I am getting ready pretty soon in this series on Fourier series that we're going to create a few circuits and we're going to look at what they do. So, point being that crap happens <laughs> in all software, but with uh, Linux and Ubuntu and open source in general, there's always a fix and you can usually find it by just going to the network and uh, it, it describes it. The people are interested in keeping their software up to date. Uh, it's a hobby to them. And uh, it doesn't cost anything. So there's always a workaround. Appreciate you listening. Hopefully you got something out of this, especially if you are a Linux user. But also even if you're not, as you start looking at options, out there, uh, Linux is a good way to go. Appreciate it. Thank you.